good day and welcome to my valued students. I just added a brand new e-commerce solution for mobile app development, iPhone, iPad, Galaxy, of course, desktop. This is a wonderful course. Uh, I'm gonna offer you a discount for those of you that are early bird specials. I just launched this on Udemy today, actually yesterday, last night, late last night, got some sleep. Um, so you definitely wanna invest into this course. I have a coupon at the bottom it's going to save you some money. It's good to save money. And I also have a special deal for the software that's part of the course. Not included in the course, by the way, but it's basically you'll need the software to make and benefit from the course. So we're going to build a lot of applications. I actually start off the course by building a simple phone application that ties to a database, MySQL database, and uses the e-card for checkout and all kinds of cool stuff. So this course focuses on Dreamweaver, CS6, and also CC, but it uses Adobe, I'm sorry, WebAssist products, Power Messenger. We're gonna use Power Messenger for email marketing, email blasts, custom tracking, charts and graphs to see who read it, who didn't read it, uh, click-throughs, all this is going to be covered in this in-depth course. Now pay no attention to these prices because I cut a special deal as long as you keep this price to yourself. I don't want it to advertise because otherwise I get in trouble. I'm not going to mention the price. You click the link at the bottom, you go to the course, and inside the course is a little, you know, little, little offer for you, a little carrot. So this course revolves around Power Messenger and the most powerful eCard solution out there, eCard 6. Now I've been chomping at the bit waiting for the past at least three months for this new version to come out. I've been using WebAssist products since 1998, so quite some time. I absolutely love the products. They're the best time-tested support products. They work efficiently. They make your life much easier. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to how you can benefit from this particular course. Again, click down there. See down there? Down there. Not here. Don't look at me. Look down there. So you're going to have different, you'll have a coupon for the course itself, and once you get into the course, you'll have a coupon for the software. Now, it's not a, it's not, a, not going to reel you in, hook you in, it's not going to be a big price for the software, but it'll definitely be a price that you can't get other places. So, let's get started by building something in Dreamweaver 6 using the eCard extension. So, here we are in Dreamweaver, and I've simply set up a basic A basic jQuery page to so just review here. I just set a mobile starter page that's basically getting the uh, jQuery from the server itself. You can do local or remote. So I'm going to share with you how simple this is. Now, I already have to save some time here. I just want to demonstrate how incredibly simple it is to use this amazing product from WebAssist. So I want to build a phone application for my products. I want to have checkout. I want to have you know all kinds of cool stuff that an e-card solution would have. And we're going to build this step by step. But I just want to share with you how simple this is. So if I go to my file menu right now, so just to share it with you, I'm just going to go to file menu and preview and browser. That's testing server, yes. Dependent files, yes. I'm going to put these files up on the server. I'll pause the video because you don't need to see sauces being made here. So here's our basic starter page, page one, page two, page three. There's no back buttons, there's no home buttons. I'm keeping this really simple to just understand how I can make this application work. Just drop and drag eCard solutions. So one of the first things we need to do here, we'll just keep this really simple. I'm going to call this link right here. I'm just going to change the name to products. I'm going to change the name of this link to uh, cart and I'm going to change this link to checkout. Now keep in mind this is not a PHP page so what we need to do is go to file save as and save this as a dynamic page in this particular case a PHP page otherwise none of this is going to work because I need to talk to the database and close this other file down so make sure you're using a PHP page because it's free and it's open source. Okay now, I already set up my database, and I will share with you how to do this step by step inside the actual course itself. But the objective here is to share with you how simplistic it is to use eCard solution from WebAssist. So, I need to, if you're not aware of this, if you want to see information from the database, from a MySQL database on your PHP page inside a Dreamweaver, it has to come from a set of records, record set. Now, I already have a database set up. What I need to do now is go into here and basically create a record set. Now, if you already have this set up, it's a PHP page. 
I'll just update that for a second. And I set up my testing server ready, boom. And I'm now gonna get the plus symbol and make myself a record set. Record set, set of records. RS, I'm just gonna call this products. Now we're gonna keep this really simple. We're not gonna do anything wacky and cuckoo. I just wanna select my products table and hit okay. Now how a record set works inside a Dreamweaver is record sets create bindings. Bindings populate the page. So if I come over here to my server behaviors and go to bindings, I can populate this page with information. Well, since page two, actually, what just happened there? Did I, I thought I changed that back. Since page two is now products, this is where you want to put the content. So I'm simply going to come over here to my binding server behaviors, create bindings, and take the product name and just drag it right there. Okay, now below that, I'm going to put the image. And below that, I'm going to put the price. So right there, I'm going to put the price. I'm going to take the price and drag the price right there. Okay, now the price doesn't contain a dollar symbol, so I'm going to put the dollar symbol in there. Now, this is a very important step. I want to put the image dynamically from the database. So here's what I'll need to do. I will get need to get the URL path to those images. So let me share with you how to do that. Okay, so here's my simple directory. It's basically the name of the website. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut that. Cut that or copy, it doesn't matter. Cut copy because I'm going to paste. So now inside of Dreamweaver, I'm going to go to insert, insert image. Now I'm sure most of you know how to insert images inside of Dreamweaver. Most of you probably don't know how to do this dynamically, which means I want to query the information in my database. Now the reason I can do this is because I do have a record set, set of records. If I didn't, I'd really be stuck. So based on these choices, because software simply gives down the choices, I'm going to click data sources. And based on these choices, I'm going to pick the field name that contains the picture, which is right here. I'm going to put my cursor right there and paste. Simple, simple. Make sure you have the trailing forward slash, otherwise this is not going to work. I will simply call this my products. And here's a little ditty that you're going to have to do. If this graphic was much larger to begin with, by default, it's going to come in 100%. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to come down here to the width, and I'm just going to make this be the width of a typical iPhone is 320 pixels. We're going to make this 300 pixels wide, and notice I have this locked into place, so it'll proportionally change the height. Now, I want to be able to see multiple products on the page. Okay. Before I do that, what I need to do is add the cart. And after I add the cart, I will basically repeat the value of this information. Right now, if I post this to the web server, I'm only going to see one product. So I have to repeat those record set values. And we'll do that right after we add the cart. So the first thing we need to do here, and it's really simple. eCart makes it really simple if you know what you're doing. The first thing I need to do is add a cart object. I'm going to click right here, and I'm just going to call it eCart1, and I'm going to click Finish. The second thing I need to do is put my cursor where I want to put that Add to Cart button. So I want to put the Add to Cart button right here. I come up here and Add to Cart. Now based on these choices, now before we go into this, let me just cancel on this for a second. If this is a regular desktop application, this is a jQuery application, jQuery mobile, so there isn't actually different pages, it's just different sections of your pages. So the section of the page that I want to go to is Cart. So the cart is basically page three. So I'm gonna take page three, I'm gonna copy that, and that's where I want the cart to go to and populate. So I click right there. Based on these choices, we're gonna pick from a database. We're gonna pick from the products database because that's the only records that we have right now. And we wanna go to this page, but we're not done. We now need to tell eCart which pieces of field information, which data we need to bind to certain uh, to certain uh, bindings here. So here's the name of the product. We're going to click the lightning bolt and we're going to we're going to we're going to bind that. Boy, I, I, I should have gave up. I gave up coffee 30 years ago. I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> we're going to bind that to the product name and hit OK. Then we're going to bind the uh, price to the price name and hit OK. Okay, with me? Good. Now we're going to go to button and based on these choices, WebAssist ships a lot of different types of things. 
Now, don't think this is a simple off-the-shelf solution as far as design goes. It is. There's a lot of cool features that the program has, but it's all based on CSS. So you can customize your CSS any way you want to. I'm just going to pick this Tahiti and click this button right here and hit OK. Done. Now, to take care of this other section for the, for the uh, dynamic link, we set that up there by, again, I just want to review that. We went into data sources we put the actual path to the graphic otherwise it's not going to work if you don't put that absolute path to your graphic or to your files it's not going to work all right so here's what we need to do i'm going to take this information from point a to point b i'm just going to drag from point a to point b and i want to put that in a separate div container the reason being is that's what i'm going to repeat because i want to see five six ten twelve products on a page so based on these choices, I'm in Dreamweaver 6, I go to Layout, and based on these choices, I select Div, and I'm simply going to call that Product Solo Div, or anything that makes sense to you. Okay, make a change, save a change. So now what I want to do is come down here to my Product Solo Div, select it in order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Then we need to go to server behaviors. Now again, if I'm going a little too fast or if I'm going ahead of, you know, if I'm not covering a lot of things, this is not the full course. This is just to understand what this amazing product, and I can't I have such a passion for this product. So I need to go to server behaviors, and based on these choices plus symbol, and we need to repeat the region. And I want to repeat the region as many records as I have. Now I only have three records in the database for demonstration purposes, so I'm going to hit OK cool stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go to the file menu, preview browser, Firefox. Testing server, yes, dependent files are already up there, so we can say okay to that. And I'm just going to slide that over here. And you can start to see the building of my phone app. So there's products, and these are populated from the database, including the price and everything else. Now if I hit add to cart, well, add the cart is really not going to do very much. And if I click cart, I don't have a cart because I didn't add any cart. So I just want to share with you that don't get frustrated. Don't jump ahead. Take it one step at a time. So I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver and put where I want to put my cart. So the cart's going to be right here. And let's simply call this my cart. Makes sense to me. And the content is going to go right there. So the first thing we did inside the eCart is we defined an eCart object. The second thing we did was add a Add to Cart button. And right here, we're going to put the actual contents for the cart. Now, I'm just going to go through this. I'm just going to point and click my way through this. We're not going to talk about any settings because that's what the full course is for. And I'm just going to hit Finish. And that's going to populate that section of my page with a professionally designed cart. And again, this is all based on CSS. We're not going to worry about tying in the graphic right now. I just want to keep this really simple to demonstrate how simple, boy, I keep saying simple a lot, don't I? How simple this is to use. Okay, so the final thing we need to do is go to page four, and that will be our checkout page. And let's just call that checkout. Now, I could put the information right here, but what I want to do is just, I already have that page built. eCart will build a series of pages for you. It takes a couple of minutes. You click the button right here. I would click right there, and that would create those different pages called in the checkout wizard. You'd put in your PayPal or your authorized.net information, and you're all set to make money. So what we're going to do is include a page that's already been built, and let me share with you a simple way to do that. So I'm simply going to go to code, scroll down here, and right here is where I want to put the information, right inside my checkout page where it says content. I'm just going to paste. This is just a simple PHP include file. And for those of you that know anything about website development or linking pages, what this is telling you is going back out of the directory, back into the directory to a page called checkout.php. I save that. And there's all the information, billing, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is tied to the built-in CSS that ships with your jQuery, but we can change whatever we want. It's all right here. All my CSS and everything is right there. All the checkout the, for the theme that we picked is right there, but we can go and hand change that because I will share with you how to do this inside of Dreamweaver. So if you look here, here's all the pages and JavaScript files that it created for us with a simple click. So now, drum roll please, all I need to do is go to File, Preview and Browser, Firefox, 
testing server, yes, dependent files while they're already up there. And just like that, we're going to have a simple eCard solution with our jQuery mobile. Now, we would have to add viewport and media queries and everything else, and I will cover that in great detail in my step-by-step -step course. Now, something I want to share with you, if you're not familiar with my training and what I do, I've been teaching since 1987 Adobe software through print and web and motion graphics, After Effects. I've set up basically every network, uh, CBS, NBC, Fox, I've set up their uh, graphics and also multimedia department with After Effects going back in the early 90s. So I know what I'm doing and I share that knowledge with you. So I'm going to select products. I want to add that to the cart. Okay, I go to my cart and there's the information in the cart. I decide to remove that or remove this because I don't want, I decided maybe I want two of these or three of these, etc, etc, etc. So I just want to share with you, I don't have a home button to this app yet because I, I, I just built it. It's just that simple. So products, I take my products, I add my products, I go to my cart, I can see what's in my cart, and if I want to check out, I simply hit checkout. And there's all the features set up with the theme of that particular jQuery mobile. It would submit, it would take you right to your PayPal account or whatever you have set up, and it's really, really that enjoyable. Now, the cool thing about eCart, which I really want to share with you, is that just this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can put all kinds of special discounts, like if a person buys more than 20, or a person spends more than $100, or you can have customer awareness programs, and, and customer uh, thank you, or perks, uh, you know, loyalty program. That's what I'm trying to get out of my system. That's what I'm trying to spit out, loyalty program. Now, that's where the Power Messenger comes in. Power Messenger is going to help you. I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but if you go to the website here, uh, Power Messenger website, uh, webassist.com. I'll put a link down at the bottom again. There's a little demo, quick little demonstration, but I can go into more detail on how to market, how to close, how to. It has a great graphical system that you can actually see. A, you sent an email blast to 400 people. Okay, how many people read it? How many people clicked the links on there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can actually filter the people that you sent. So as an example, and this, this should be no secret, if you're going to be in business for yourself. If you sold somebody a hat for 50 bucks and you're having a sale next week, well, it's not being deceptive, but maybe you don't want to send the person a coupon because he just he or she just paid full price. That's his business. I'm sorry, all businesses do that. But this, this power messenger enables you to filter information from name, address, uh, when they bought, if they bought, how they bought. Uh, anybody that signed up in the past month, the past week, it's very, very packed full with features. And I'm going to have a special deal for the bundle package of Power Messenger and eCard. These are two great programs. Uh, you're not going to pay anywhere near these prices, but I highly suggest don't throw me under the bus. Okay? Don't blog about these prices. You know, that's why I'm not advertising the prices here because I don't want to do that. I don't want to upset their business. But if you sign up for my course, you will get a great deal on this software, okay? So if you'll definitely, I just want to be very frank with you, you definitely need the software to take the course. But I'm not going to hook you in, oh, I'm going to sign, sign you up for $29, I'm going to wind up charging you $400 for the software. You know, if that's the case, Udemy has a refund policy. Just get your money back. I don't play games like that. It's a great deal for the software, but I'm not going to mention what that deal is. So. Thank you for being here. In fact, I'm not going to mention my course price either because that could change, okay? So this is a special deal if you sign up today and that link's going to change down at the bottom in probably a couple of days. Because eventually, and I'll be very, very candid with you, this course is eventually going to go for a couple hundred bucks, okay? Because it's, it's a lot of powerful information. It's a skill set that's going to make you a lot of money. And that's what I'm all about. I'm about making you money working smart, taking one step at a time. If you think you can learn this stuff for free, boys and girls, gals and guys, people from New Jersey, let me know how that's working out for you because obviously you're here for a reason. And the reason is to work smart, work effectively, let the software do the heavy lifting for you. And that's my whole battle cry. Think, learn, earn. My name is Robert Farrell, Carpe Diem 2014.